Kenneth W. Gronbach, I call him Ken, uh, is a demographer, futurist, public speaker, president of KGC Direct LLC, and is a best selling author of several books, including The Age Curve How to Profit from the Coming Demographic Storm, uh, Decades of Differences Making It Work, and Upside Profiting from the Profound Demographic Shifts Ahead. Ken and I are um, a, lot of, a lot of old. Uh, uh, dirt roads, uh, you know, between Ken and I, we've done a couple different programs together over the years, over the decades, it seems. Um, and it's always good to check in with him uh, every now and then. I always end up feeling better <laughs> about, <laughs> about the future. Anyway, Ken, how you doing? How you holding up? Very well, very well. In South Florida, it's really hot, so you stay indoors most of the time. Rains every afternoon, but hey, it's South Florida. There you go. You're you're. You've you've made you've made compromises, Ken. Yeah. Um, let's just jump in here. Uh, I'm wondering, are you are you still optimistic uh, about the future, even in light of all this moment of high flux that we're going through? And if you are optimistic, why are you optimistic? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One of them is, is everything I do is thirty thousand feet, big picture, uh, you know, macro. Uh, I I have definitely been affected by the pandemic. And it's, you know, being locked up drives me nuts. But the numbers for the pandemic are uh, small. They just are. They're small. So, yes, we're going to have issues going forward. There are, there are going to be some demographic changes going forward, but they're not going to change the big picture. They just simply won't. The big picture is this, simply. United States is the only nation, the only world power, the only industrialized nation that has a Generation Y millennial uh, population. And our population is huge compared to the population in front of it and the population behind it. It's bigger than the baby boomers and it's much bigger than Generation X. Mm -hmm. They are currently 16 to 35 years old. They're just now entering the labor force and they're incredible. Mm -hmm. So we are going to have labor like you and talent like you cannot believe. So the United States is fine. Mm -hmm. China is not, Russia is not, EU is not, all of Asia is not, South Korea is not, the United States, United States has kids. And that's all kind of driven by the, uh, again, the, the, the offspring, the children, and the, the overall age demographic, right? Yeah, exactly. The, the Generation Y, for the most part, millennials, for the most part, are uh, the offspring of boomers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. and the boomers now are 56 to 75. The boomers are finally retiring. So this is going to be a big challenge for mm-hmm. people in terms of talent, Mm -hmm. but boomers are finally leaving and their kids are coming in. And and the big thing, the most important thing, Dave, is that these kids are leaving home. Mm -hmm. They're they're moving out of their parents' basements. They're throwing away all those trophies they didn't deserve. And they have to set up households, which means we're about 25 million housing units short of our needs, Mm -hmm. which means housing is going to spike and stay there. Mm -hmm. It's it's spiking as we we speak. Mm -hmm. (coughs) Excuse me. I have a quick question for you here. What, given that you're a futurist and you've got a pretty good crystal ball, what should leaders be paying attention to <clears throat> right now? Talent. Talent, talent, talent. It, it's going to be a very interesting time. Uh, one of the things that I encourage people to do is to hire the best HR that they can possibly afford. Get get A players, absolute A players. Don't Don't settle for B players or C players. Get A players in your HR because you're going to have to do two things. One, you're going to have to hire millennials, which is going to be a challenge, which means you have three generations in the workplace. You actually have millennials, uh, uh, Gen X, and a Gen X is 35 to uh, uh, 36 to 55, and then you have boomers that have uh, are, will not fully exit the labor force for another 10 or 15 years. It's going to be a challenge, but hiring Gen Y and getting the best and the brightest because we have 88 million. It's called talent pool. It is huge. Excellent. So that's what I would advise people to do, yeah. That's excellent, great advice. And finally, Ken, I'm gonna ask you the question I ask everybody, which is, you know, what lessons have we learned going through this moment um, that we must not forget? Just how frail we are. Just how frail our, our economy is, just how frail our leadership is just how frail we are as, as individuals and that how, uh, I mean, in, in a spiritual sense, uh, uh, in God, we trust. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I, I would encourage people to uh, take stock of themselves, 
we are going to come out of this. We are absolutely going to come out of this. You can, you can see the, the, the signs already. Uh, it might get worse before it gets better, but it is going to get better. What have, what have we learned? This is not going to take us down. Excellent. It Ken, it's good, good to see you. And you've delivered. I feel much better uh, about, the, <laughs> uh, <laughs> about the future. Listen, you take care of yourself uh, down there in Florida. And don't let the rain uh, get you down. Okay? Okay, my friend, you take care too. Bye-bye.